what's up you guys welcome back to mo money's channel so today i have a co-star i brought my sister in this video with me because today's video is gonna be a very good video so last year um around this time me and Brittany actually we made a breakup video together so you know i told my story of my second boyfriend and Brittany told her story of her ex so today's video is kind of like a part two of my first breakup video so i'll put it in the description box in case you guys missed the first video and that way you guys could catch up so i brought my sister with me today because um my sister obviously well she has kids so i wanted some of you ladies to be able to relate to her um just because i don't have kids so i know so i want you guys to have something in common with both of us and the reason why I'm making a part two on this video is because my part one did really good and um, I got a lot of good messages from a lot of people. Um, a lot of you guys told me how my video helped you guys go through um, go through breakups and you guys some of you guys were going through it and I was very happy to know that I was able to help some of you guys. So this is the reason why I'm making this video. Um, I want you guys to know that you guys aren't the only ones that go through stuff like you know Obviously, we're all human and we all go through a little a lot of stuff together So this video is kind of hard. I think it's kind of hard for it's hard for both of us um, I'm going to be talking about my third boyfriend, which is my last Boyfriend that I had which was like the last serious relationship. I was in and I think also because I was, like, close to him, right? Like I, I knew about him. Yeah, he would always involve my sister in the drama. Yeah. So, she was kind of like... The middleman. Yeah, she was kind of like the middleman. Also, I'm going to put my sister's YouTube channel in the description box. For those of you guys who haven't checked out her channel yet, you guys can check it out in the description box below. So, I guess I'll start first. Um... My, I guess my last serious relationship that I was in, um, it was the most toxic, verbally abusive relationship that I have ever been in my whole life. I would even almost say that it, it was kind of life changing, but it was not in a good way. For those of you guys, for my OG viewers, you guys already know that I never put out names, you know, a bitch is not trying to get sued. So, uh, let's see, for my ex, and you guys, I never come up with the names ahead of time. Like, I literally do it on the video with you guys. So, let's see, what should I name him? I'm gonna name him Antonio, okay? So, I guess I'm gonna start out with Antonio. So, if you guys watched my first video, basically, I met Antonio, um, Antonio was my friend. Basically, we kind of had like a little party crew with guys and girls, and then I had met Antonio through there, and we would party together. Um, so, when I was, when I broke up with my second boyfriend, like, I was going through a very rough time. Um, I was living in Sacramento at the time. So basically when I was living in Sacramento and I had broke up with my second boyfriend, I was really going through a lot of depression. Um, I had never went through depression in my whole life, but that was like the first time I went through depression. Um, so basically I was in Sacramento. I had no friends. I had no job. Um, at the time, the twins were still little, so it's like they couldn't really, they couldn't go out because they were still teenagers. Um, so I was just by myself and I was really depressed. So what happened with Antonio was, um, basically I was talking to one of my boys that was kind of close friends with Antonio. And when I was going through it for my ex-boyfriend, the second one, I was like, you know, telling my boy, like, you know, I'm going through it. So he's like, come on, Mo, just come to Fresno. I'm going to take you out. You're going to see all the girls and you're going to feel better. Oh, yeah, I remember we went out to Fresno. Yeah, so me and my sister, we went to Fresno that weekend and, um... We went to go party, huh? Yeah, we went to go party. And uh, basically, Antonio was there. And uh, my boy had kind of told Antonio all the shit that I was going through. And then, um, I guess he kind of caught me, like, at a vulnerable moment. 
Um, but I mean, at the same time, like he, he, you know, like he got close to me and like me and him just started talking a lot more and you know, it was just as friends though. It wasn't nothing like that. So I went back to Sacramento and he was just hitting me up, hitting me up. And you know, it was nice having somebody to talk to because I was going through like a breakup and stuff. And like, you know, he, he gave me good company and stuff and um, I ended up going back to Fresno, like, just to visit, and, um, he basically, like, just took me out the whole time I was there, and, like, I was just venting to him, and I was like, you know, like, I hate being in Sacramento, I'm so sad, I'm so depressed, so, he was like, well, why don't you just move back then, and I was like, what, like, move back, and he was like, yeah, like, fuck it, come on, like, let's go, let's go right now, I'll take you to go get all your stuff and come back, so I was like, what, like, really, and he's like, yeah, come on, let's go, so, Long story short, he drove me from Fresno all the way to Sacramento to go get all my stuff, and he brought me back. When I came back, um, I was just spending a lot of time with him. He would always take me out, and like at the same time, he was all at the same time he had also barely gone through a breakup. So we were kind of both like I guess you could say we were both kind of rebounds in the beginning. But I I guess I I talked to him for maybe like three months before like we were like okay you know what like you know I think that you know maybe I do want I do like this guy you know. So, You're like debating not like no and then it was like little bit yeah little cool so and like I was kind of and I was so so like like hurt over my second boyfriend that i was kind of like scared i'm like do i really want to do this you know but i was like you know what like fuck it like he's been a cool guy you know and like i don't know he was just cool you know so i was like fuck it like so i ended up i ended up being with him or whatever and um everything was good in the beginning and i think our first incident was i had went to the club and i bumped into him there and I remember there was like a girl kind of all over him, right? Like she was like going like that and like that, right? So I went up to him and I was like, what's up? And he was like, oh, nothing. He's like, I'm going to go get a drink. I'll be right back. And I was like, who the fuck is this, you know? So then I tell the girl, I was like, who are you? I was like, that's my boyfriend. And then she was like, that's my brother. So I was oh, like, Mickey. and I'm like, you guys, shit like that only happens to me. So I'm not going to lie. I dropped the ball right there. That was my fault, you know? That was also his fault, too. Well, he's already done. Yeah, so that was just a bad fucking start. And, like, I, I, I did fuck up that, that time. And he also fucked up because he didn't introduce me, you know? But um, I guess after that, like, his, did she, like, dog you out? Or was like, bitch? Yeah, his, she was pissed. I could tell she was pissed. And she was like, that's my fucking brother. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god, I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. So after that, I felt stupid and I just fucking walked away, right? Like, I can't believe, I can't believe that shit happened. So I was like, fuck, that's what I get, you know? So then I told him, like, what the fuck? Like, you didn't tell me that that was your fucking sister. And then I told him what happened and he was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, well, you didn't tell me. So basically what happened after that, um, his birthday was around that time. So he got like a he got like a big ass VIP or whatever. He would always get VIP, so we would always be chilling. Yeah, he would always get VIP. I remember I wasn't like really talking to him at that time. I was mad at him over something stupid, right? I don't really remember why. But he told my best friend, like, hey, you know, tell Mo to come. Like, cause he was that type. Like, whenever I was mad at him, like I would fucking not talk to him. So he would hit up my sister he, or like my best friend and be like, man, we're gonna I'm gonna have a table tonight, tell Mo to come. So the girls were like, come on, Mo, like, just come, fuck it. Like, you know, he's going to have bottles. So I'm like, all right, bitch, like, let's go. We, Mo would make it work for us because we would all go out. <laughs> yeah. Then. And, like, he was the type, like, he would pop bottles, like, hella bottles, you know. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, bitches, like, let's go. Plus, he was, like, me and him had a lot of mutual friends. So, like, I knew it was going to be a good time. So I think this is, like, when shit kind of got real. Um, Basically... I was in the VIP and it was like a big VIP so he was like on one side of the VIP and I was on the other side and this VIP was kind of like on the stair like upstairs a little bit so like you could see what's going on on the bottom so I remember his sister showing up with his ex-girlfriend right and I knew what his ex-girlfriend looked like um just because I had kind of seen her around before so I was like what the fuck so the sister tries to bring the ex-girlfriend up to the booth. So I was like, 
you know, I, and then my best friend was like, Mo, just don't, don't say anything, you know, just pretend like you're having a good time. So, oh, bitch, like, I had to pretend like I was having a good time. I was dancing and shit. And as soon as, as, soon as I peeped that he fucking kicked them out, he kicked out the sister and the ex-girlfriend. So, basically, they got kicked out. And then I was pissed because I'm like, why the fuck would the sister bring... You know the ex-girlfriend So you were him. already the enemy without even knowing it. Yeah, and I was like, why the fuck? You know, I was like, why the fuck? And I, I thought that was weird because I'm like, why would the sister just bring her? Like, I know she's mad at me, but I'm like, so like, why would she be so comfortable to bring her, you know? So after that, you guys, oh my gosh. So I waited for them to get kicked out before I flipped out, right? So I remember I went up to him and he was like with all his friends and his cousins and I and I went up to him and I whispered in his ear I was like fuck you motherfucker don't ever fucking call me again in your life So I remember I, I fucking went down from the VIP and I I remember I, I had a uh, I had to go with my best friend to go get her fucking card um, From the bar because she had to go buy a shot or something So we went and I remember I was waiting I was waiting at the bar and he was like upstairs in the VIP he's like Mo come on and I was like fuck you like from far away like I was heated so long story short I fucking I got my card and all my I was like I was rolling deep that day I had like all of my girls with me we left and like he fucking followed me he got in the car he almost ran me over because he was so fucked up driving like that so basically that was kind of like our first incident and then so then after that i didn't talk to him for a couple of days and like you know he would fucking blow me up and finally i gave in and he was like you know it's not my fault i can't control what my sister does whatever whatever so i'm like all right like whatever i let it go you know and like i don't know i started kind of noticing like he was being like he was very machista so for those of you guys that don't know what it is it's like um he's very macho like basically like he had the mentality kind of like an old school mexican like he, I remember he would tell me like, oh, I don't want you dressy like that. Or like, I can go out, but you have to stay home. You have to wait for me. That's what girls do. And I was like, and you guys, like, I'm the type of girl, like, you can, uh, hell no. Like, that is not my mentality. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, you're not going to tell me what the hell, like, what, how to dress. I'm like, you met me dressing like this. So it's like, I'm not going to dress any different. And I'm like. And I remember I would get into it with him because I'm like, you got me fucked up. Like, I'm not going to stay at home. Like, what? Hell no. Like, I, that is not me. Like, you're not going to try to tell me what to do. So, like, and he was just very controlling. Like, I remember, like, if I wanted to just go have dinner with my girls, like, he would, like, make it a fucking issue. Everything was just always a fight. So, I remember one day, I, I remember I was cleaning his room and I found stockings in his room. And they weren't mine because I don't fucking wear stockings, right? So I was like, what the fuck? And they look like it they look like they had been taken off because they were kind of like, I don't know if you guys like know, but they were like like kind of smashed in together, like if somebody had took them off. So I was like, and they were like on the side of the bed. So I'm like, what the fuck? I had I did some F FBI like investigation. I went on to his ex-girlfriend's, like, I don't know if it was Facebook or what, but I seen a picture of her that weekend and she was wearing those same fucking stockings. So I was like, what the fuck? So I fucking broke up with him. I fucking broke up with him and I bounced. And I was like, fuck him, right? Because I, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to fucking teach him a lesson in my head. I was like, I'm going to teach him a lesson, whatever. And I was a little, I was younger, you know? So I haven't been with this guy for like maybe seven years. So I remember I broke up with him and I went out. And I would always bump into him, like, at the club. Me and him were, like, a lot alike. Um... Like, I feel like, you know, like, me, like, I'm hood, but I'm also a bisai, and, like, him, too. Like, he's hood, but he's also a bisai, you know? So, we're, like, we're kind of, like, the best of both worlds. So, I feel like that's why me and him, like, we got along so much. I feel like he was almost, like, my best friend, you know? Like, we, we really got along a lot, and it's, like, we both, like, I don't know, we were just both on the same level, you know? Except for the fucking faithful part. And then, like, I don't know, I, I think I was broken up with him for, like... I think I broke up with him for like a month and I was out going out and shit and like this guy was so persistent when like he when we would break up and at the time you guys I was at the time I was like I was young I was like 21 22 so he would fucking blow up my phone like he would call my sister he would call my best friends like he would call all my friends right so like you know and then like okay so then 
I started kind of missing him and I was with him all the time so I started missing him you know so I was like so one day I answered his call and I was like what do you want and he was like mo please like just give me another chance so I was like well I'll let you take me out so then I went out I you know I let him take me out to dinner and then like that's just how it kind of started and I feel like at the time he was kind of making like he was making his little money or whatever so like he was like he was very giving too like he, you know he would always take me out like come on babe let's go buy you some shoes or like come on babe let's go buy you this you know like when it was good it was good you guys like when it was when good it was, it was good it was so then I was like, okay, but you know, it's all that shit that guys do. Like, when you're mad at them and shit, like, they go above and beyond for you, you know? They'll pretend. So me moment. being young, not really knowing the game, I was like, you know what? I think he did change, you know? So then, eventually, I got back with him. Everything was good again, you know? We, me and him were with each other every day, and like, you know, like with him, I just feel like I, I've really seen him like as my best friend because I I feel like I vented to him more than any of my other exes. Like I would like I would cry to him. Like I would like whenever I was going through it, like I would talk to him and like he would always hear me out. And you know, he would actually give me good advice, you know. So I feel like man, so then I was like, you know what? Like, you know, he's for me. Like at this time I thought like he's the one for me. When me and him I got back together, then I kind of started like coming around more and like, you know, I was cool with his brother and you know, I eventually, eventually I talked to his sister and like, um, you know, we squashed the beef and you know, I apologized to her. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like I didn't know, you know, like, you know, I, I really like, you know, I felt bad and you know, she was cool about it. She was like, no, it's okay. Like, I understand. You didn't know. You know, it's cool. Whatever. So, she, you know, she was cool after that. I didn't really get along with his family. Um, That's kind of like another topic. But basically, they didn't like... I guess they didn't really like me because of my best friend. My best friend had actually dated one of, like, the cousin's boyfriends. So, because I was my best friend, I feel like, you know, I got kind of drunk into it. So I didn't really like get along with his family. I mean, it's not that I didn't like them. I I didn't really, you know, think of them, but they didn't they did not like me. Uh, but you know, I was cool with uh, I was cool with her with his brother and his sister. You know, they were cool people to this day. Like I don't have nothing against them. His mom on the other hand, okay, so this was when like Facebook was popping. I remember this girl and at the time I wasn't like, you know, an Instagrammer or YouTuber or anything like that, right? So I remember this girl, she tried to add me like on Facebook and um, whenever a girl would try to add me, I would be like, oh, like, bitch, who are you working for, you know? So I started looking through like her, her thing or whatever. She tried to add me on Facebook and I started seeing like his mom was like writing on her page, like basically kind of like low key talking shit about me. Like, so, cause I guess this girl was friends of the family, right? And I guess the mom hella liked this girl. Yeah, so basically the mom was like writing on her page like, I want you for my son and you don't know what goes around here. Because um, at the time he was living with his mom and she would be like, you don't know what goes around here, girl. But a lot of like, she, um, he'd be fighting with his girl all the time. Like, I wish it was you. Like, basically saying shit like that, right? I, I like, I told, like, I showed him, like, the girl, and I was like, Do you know this bitch? And he was like, What the fuck? Like, yeah, like, whoa. Like, he's like, How do you, like, know about her? And I'm like, Cause she tried to add me on Facebook. And he was like, No, don't add her, whatever, whatever, right? But I was like, Why the fuck is your mom telling her that, you know, um, she wants you to be with her and this and this and that? And he was like, No, like, you know, don't listen to it. So after that, I kind of how I kind of didn't fuck with the mom, you know, because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, she should respect my relationship with her son, you know. But I'm like, whatever. Like, that was his mom, so it's like I had to just fucking deal with it, right? So that means that this was a new girl. Well, no, I guess, I guess he told me he had slept with this girl before, but that he never wanted to take her serious. So before the ex, yeah. Okay. So I guess she was kind of like a booty they, call. So everybody knows. What we're so like supposedly about. she was a booty call. Who knows? Cause men lie, but she was a booty call. I was like, what the fuck? So I already kind of had my eyes on this girl. I'm like, what the hell? And like, you know, I was like, not even. I wasn't really fucking with the mom. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why would she do that? And you know? the nerve of her to request you. Like, yeah. Straight, like no, like 
No tenía vergüenza. But girls are crazy nowadays, you know? So I continued my relationship with him. I basically, I ended up losing my job. I got laid off. And I, I remember I was going through it. I didn't have a job. I didn't have no money. And I remember, like, I was venting to him. And he was just like, don't worry, babe. Like, I got you. And I was like, no, like... I was like, no, I feel bad. Like, I don't want your money, you know? Like, because I'm used to, like, I've always been a very independent woman. Like, I've always had my own stuff. But he was like, babe, like, don't worry about it. Like, I got you. Like, you know, like, until, you, you know... He told me that I didn't have to work regardless, but, you know, I was gonna work, you know, but he was like, you don't have to work. Like, I got you, babe. He was kind of like my rock, you know? So I was like, man, like... I don't know, so I guess it kind of made me kind of fall in love with him more, you know, because I'm like, damn, like, no matter what, he's always here for me. What ended up happening is this, um, th his ex-girlfriend was, she actually, uh, messaged me. She messaged me on Facebook, and... Wait, the booty call or the ex-girlfriend? Well, the ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend, and um, she messaged damn, me. Damn, everybody was just kidding you up on Facebook. Yeah, he was, like, the community dick, I found <laughs> out later on. But yeah. basically his ex-girlfriend hit me up and she was like, oh, like, do you know where your man's at? Like, um, he's with me, bitch. Why don't you call him right now to see where he's at, right? Oh, you guys, so I'm fucking blowing up his phone, right? And like, this motherfucker was not answering my call. So I was like, what the fuck? So I kept calling him and calling him and then I start, so then he wasn't answering my call. So I start texting him. I'm like, well, and I sent him a screenshot of what that his ex-girlfriend said. And I'm like, are you with this bitch right now? That's why you're not answering my call. So as soon as I sent him that, then he calls me. And he was like, so I'm basically his cousin, his cousin was like, um, he was kind of like mentally ill a little bit. So his lie was that he was at a family like meeting, um, basically trying to figure out what to do with the cousin, right? But I'm like, this motherfucker's lying, and then he hung up on me, you guys. It was like a little quick call. Yeah. Let so, get away so for like, a couple of seconds. yeah, that's exactly what it fucking was. But me being young, not knowing the game, I was like going through it that night, and I called my best friend. Long story short, you guys, um, that night I ended up getting drunk by myself, and that was the one and only time I have ever done that. Like, don't ever get drunk by yourself. That shit is the most depressing thing ever. I broke up with him oh, again. Take me right now. So I broke up with him again and after this I'm like, you know what? Like I'm fucking tired of his shit And I knew he was with her cuz it's like why wasn't he answering my calls, you know? so I was just kind of tired and, it, and it's like it wasn't just her it was like other girl like another girl had also messaged me too saying that um He was trying to get at her and it's like I, I feel like the girls that have been that cheat they know what they have a lot of a lot of you guys know what you have you know so i feel like i knew what i had i was just so tired of him always humili humiliating me and always catching him with girls and stuff it was actually about to be new year's right so i probably i already had maybe like a month maybe like a month or two broken up from antonio basically what happened was i had went to this club me and all my friends went to this club for new year's he was kind of like on one side and i was kind of like on the other side and like me when i'm at the club like i like to dance you know so this guy walked up to me and they're playing banda this guy went up to me and he's like hey like do you want to dance and you know i was already kind of feeling myself so I was like yeah fuck it let's go dance so me and him were dancing banda right so when you're dancing like banda like you you know you, you hold the guy like right here so i was like dancing and shit and like i hear somebody in my ear and they're like you fucking hoe and i turn around and it's my fucking ex it's fucking antonio and i'm like and the and the guy that i was dancing with is like what the fuck like he was kind of like confused you know and you guys i have never been so fucking embarrassed in my whole <laughs> life like so fucking embarrassed but at the same time, like, oh, you guys, like, I got fucking mad. Like, when I get mad, I get mad. So, I fucking, as soon as I heard him say that, like, I fucking walked him back. So, when he was like, ha, like, he laughed at me and he turned back around. He was walking to the bathroom, right? So, you guys, I know I was fucking pissed because I didn't even know I had this power. Like, I fucking grabbed, like, his shirt he was kind of wearing like a, he was wearing like this long sleeve like shirt, right? And it was like good material. I fucking grabbed it by the collar, like from the back of his collar. And dude, like I went, I fucking went like that. I ripped off his whole fucking shirt in the club in front of 
everybody right so he was like what the fuck so he like he was running like that to the bathroom and i was like you're so mean freaky so he was literally like so then um after that this so I, after that the security walks up to me and i had been going to this club for how like since i was young you know since i wasn't even 21 yet going to this club so the security knew me, but he was like, why did you just rip off that guy's shirt? And I was like, because he called me a hoe when I was dancing with another guy. And like the security had seen me with Antonio, so he knew that me and him had dated, right? And he was like, no, mija, don't be doing that. Like he's just trying to get your attention. Just fucking ignore him. Was it the one with the braids? Yeah, he and I was like, holla, we're back, remember? And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, well, I'm, I was like, well, I'm sorry, but he made me mad. After that, he was like, all right, we'll go over there, like you know, leave him alone. So I'm like, all right, whatever. As soon as I turned around, this other guy walks up to me and he's like, what's up, girl? Why'd you rip that guy's shirt off? And I was like, oh my god, like I was just like, it kind of hit me what I did, and I was like, oh like my god, like you were known as a crazy girl. And I was like, oh, I was like, I didn't even know what to tell him. I, I think I was just kind of laughing about it. And I was like, you seen? And he was like, yeah. He's like, but what's up though? You want to go dance? And I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, damn, I got game, you know. So I want to go dance with another guy, right? And then while, while I'm dancing, while I'm dancing with this other guy, I see my ex come out of the bathroom and he comes out with a card again. So I think one of his boys let him borrow a shirt. Oh, but this motherfucker didn't fuck with me this time. Like, I think he was scared of me at this point. <laughs> like, this is the last shirt I got. I don't have another one. My first boyfriend found out that I wasn't with, you know, this guy no more. And me and my first boyfriend, like, that's a whole nother topic. But, like... Me and my first boyfriend, like, I lost my virginity to my first boyfriend. So, basically, when I broke up with my boyfriend, then my first boyfriend started hitting me up. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, if he's hitting up other girls, like, why can't I have fun? You know, like, why can't I do that? And, like, I'm the type of person, you guys, like, I'm not going to be at home fucking letting, like, like, letting somebody step all over me. Like, fuck that. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, if you, like, I'm the type of person, like, I'll fucking get revenge on you. Damn, Ricky. So, I was, like, so, I was, like, you know what? Fuck it. So, then, I started messaging, like, so, then, me and my first boyfriend, we started messaging each other. So, basically, me and my first boyfriend, like, we started kicking it and stuff, and so, then, my, my, my last boyfriend, he was, like, what the fuck? You're fucking around with your first boyfriend, and, like, Antonio always kind of had a thing against my first boyfriend, um, just because Antonio, since he was my friend, he always knew about my first boyfriend because, cause like, you know, I lost my virginity to him. He was like my first love. So I was like, you know, he always knew that. And he, I feel like he was kind of jealous that I lost my virginity to him. And like that falls back on like him and his old school Mexican mentality. So I, I feel like he always kind of hated on it. So he was like, you're fucking around with your first boyfriend again and that's why you wanted to break up with me like he was trying to use reverse psychology on you antonio was the type of guy that would be like that like he knows what he did he knows he did something wrong but he would always blame it on me you know he would try to flip the script so he's like that's why you broke up with me because you wanted to go fuck around with him like you know i didn't cheat on you like the nerve of him you guys but at the same time i knew my first boyfriend was no good because he was not any better than and uh, he wasn't no better than antonio like he was just as fucking bad probably but i think at the time he was going my first boyfriend was going through something also, so then I kind of like started spending more time with him or whatever. So it was like we were kind of keeping both each other company. So then after that, Valentine's Day was coming up and I guess it kind of started hitting me that I was like, man, I kind of miss Antonio, you know, even though I was with my first boyfriend. And then my first boyfriend, I don't know, he was just all over the place. So I just feel like my, like Antonio was not any better than him. But I feel like Antonio was just there for me more. During the time that I was broken up, 